All right, we're on. Uh, I think I'm in. Okay. Um, all right, so spiritual calling and work um, and not, not enjoying work, but wanting to, wanting to do what is in, one, in one's heart and, and doing fun things. Well, for me, uh, the thing is everything where I am today is a result of my karma and my level of consciousness. So, um, if I'm in a job which I'm not enjoying, well, it, the, thing, the reason why I'm not enjoying my work, be, my boss being pushy, my, and the work being unfulfilling and unspiritual, um, is because that is what my current karma is bringing to me. So, so also, there's two, there's two ways to look at it. You know, so if I had like really, really good karma, you know, I'd probably be, like Hawkins would say, I'd be the, the giant in a cathedral from day one, you know, and just sweeping up, you know, the, the dust and left alone to, in the cathedral. So what, why have I got a horrible boss and doing work I don't enjoy? Well, you have to look in the past lives that this stuff is here. So there's two, two ways to look at it. One way is to look at the job as like, well, my current consciousness level and my current karma because if, let's say, the average spiritual seeker, like Hawkins says, if you're an advanced spiritual seeker, like if you come to a, a group like this, which is super, super advanced, you've probably got about 15 to 20 lifetimes before you're interested in like serious spiritual work. Mm. No one's going to come here. On the, on the first lifetime, it's probably going to be drugs and rock and roll, you know, not like deleting your ego. So we've, probably anyone who's doing in The Course of Miracles has got about 15 to 20 lifetimes, probably had multiple lifetimes in spiritual um, venues, but probably also lifetimes in unsavory, uh, unsavory situations as well, uh, doing, coming up with nefarious things. And then, uh, also the thing of like, you know, what happens is you have, whatever happens in this lifetime is often the, is the karmic opposite of what you've done to others in past lifetimes. So what happens is like, so uh, for example, if I've got a, like a really horrible, bossy, controlling, super um, uh, narcissistic boss, well, in my, if you look back in the past lifetime, I was a super narcissistic controlling boss, you know, and, and usually quite often you probably find, I mean, and um, if you do past life regression or kinesis art research, that they come back in this lifetime. So there is like a, there's like a, a, you could call it a karmic contract from a prior lifetime. Like I was the, you know, last lifetime, I was the horrible controlling boss and he's back, you know, this lifetime to be my boss. So why isn't it like I'm, I'm in a cathedral with a saint for my boss? Well, so there's two ways to look at it. Um, but I would say the work's unfulfilling uh, well, you know, probably was an unfulfilling boss giving unfulfilling work and being quite controlling. So he's back. So I, I, I often see, I think you'd often find if you do a lot of muscle testing or past life research that a lot of these characters at work you've had past life associations with. So you, you can see it in two ways. and You can only have a muscle testing. One is like, I'm going to take a leap of faith and leave this work. So... You can do it the slow way, which is to transcend work while you're in it, you know. So you just go into work every day, transcending, praying for your boss, transcending the work, making the work meaningless, making your boss meaningless, going to the observer, until nothing affects you in that job. In which case, you'll, you'll also, at the same time, be transcending your karma in the situation. Or you'll be transcending all the hooks at the same time for this comic room. Automatically, when you let go of everything that's hooking you in to why you're in this work, automatically the universe will provide the next job automatically because you've now cleared. There's no purpose for you to be there. If you're, like a, if you're feeling saintly uh, at work and the boss doesn't disturb you, automatically, in every person I've worked to, when they transcend an environment, either those people will leave or you'll be shifted. It's, I've never seen something like it doesn't change because you've done everything you need to do in that environment. Now, there is another way of doing it, and that would be to take a leap of faith. Um, and generally people who take huge leaps of faith have had quantum jumps in their consciousness level and will just take a, a leap of faith and just leave everything. But I think you can also do it. Best to muscle, muscle, muscle check. 
But you could like say, I'm going to, I feel intuitively I've prayed and meditated, even though there's a lot of baggage to clean in this job, career, I'm just going to leave it and do something I love, you know. Um, that's easier if you haven't got kids or responsibilities. But generally, uh, but some people actually do work away, leave their families and, and do that in some situations. And uh, so then it's the, to, to, now the thing is, if you haven't cleared your karma, often if you run away from it, then you haven't cleared it. You might, the universe might reinstall a similar situation later on. So, but you could leave it and, and take everything you've got there and try and clear it before the universe decides you haven't cleared it and, and reinstates the situation. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Because you go somewhere else, you go into a nunnery, you're working in an investment bank, you go into a nunnery and your head, the head nun mm. is like a, a super control freak. And mm. it's like going, you're going to scrub the floors in front of everyone. And you go, this just seems like my boss, you know. So, so what I would do... Jeez is uh, so the universe is quite clever you don't normally get away with things that easily but I think you can you know in the sense of I would try and clear everything while you go into the next career because don't assume just because you run away from a situation you've cleared the karma but I think you can cancel your beliefs place it into God's infinite light and love and pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's been a tyrannical boss um, in that light, and, and then you, and you, you shift up in consciousness and then you don't have to go back. So there's two ways to clear, I would say, everything that happens is meant to happen. This, you know, I agree with Hawkins, I think Jesus as well, but this is purgatory, so nothing is happening by accident, you know. So the, all the hooks, I need to clear them, but I can clear them in the situation or I can leave the situation and try and clear them as quickly as possible out of the situation and then I don't have to face them in my next situation. I don't know if that makes sense. So, so I think in a lot of situations I would just... Um, now the thing of um, spiritual calling, and I think Hawkins talks about this uh, really nicely. It's like, you know, the ego, the ego is like tying you to this world. And at a certain point, if you clear enough crap from your ego, you know, the burning call to go inward starts to get more and more heated, like to burn everything off. Mm -hmm. So the funny thing is, the more spiritual you work, you get the more passionate you get to let everything go. Thank you. Oh, I'll do that in a second. So um, we'll let it go off. Um, so if so, when that happens, it's it's a good thing, but you just have to make the choice. You know whether. You, you feel that's the right thing for you to do. It can be difficult if there's family and there's situations, but it's like the ego is the thing that pulls you into this world. And as you rarefy, there's a greater inner urge to let everything go. Mm. And there becomes a dedication and a drivenness just to release everything that's left. So the great thing is it becomes like a virtuous circle. The more spiritual work you do, the deeper you go, the greater the inner calling to let everything go. So again, it's like, then it's like a, the fight is a dualistic thing where the ego goes, no, I have more stuff to do in this world. And the spiritual calling is like, no, I want to let everything go. So that's for the individual seeker to decide, you know, on how quickly or how slowly they're going to do that. So either you transcend in the situation, you leave the situation and you, I would transcend quickly and hope the universe doesn't give you another situation, which is possible. You know, sometimes, uh, so, sometimes you can also pray and meditate and the, and the universe says, like, you can leave this now. And you can leave it, but I would still clear it if you haven't cleared everything in the situation. The slow way is to clear it in the situation and transcend it and to automatically rarify it. Okay.